All right, Mick, I just pulled the Jeep outside. Um, this is just a quick walk around just to show you everything. Uh, probably be a four or five minute video, but you know, I talked about little chips, like a little rock chip right there. That's under the very bottom by the step. Um, you know, a little chip right there. A little blue touch up could fix this. Slight chip right there. You can get a sense of how small these are. Tires are really good. I mean, like brand new. They still have all their little tits on them. But again, I haven't looked at the date code. He told me they were around 2014. So just understand they're a little bit older. Here's your steering stabilizer. I mean, it's got a little road grime on it. That'll wash off. Probably could use some new shocks. They don't ride bad at all. It's just if you want to tidy this up and make it look a little better, I would just put a, a new shock on it to give it a little fresh look. I'll come back and start it here in just a minute. I mean, I'm, literally, I'm up at the front. I mean, nothing. There's no, nothing to show you here that's distracting. No rock chips, no nothing. Uh, I'm assuming the winch works. I've never tried it. I do think we have winch controls. So uh, looks like it's missing. This is the way I got it. Missing the antenna mast that would go up on there. I'll see if I have one laying around, but I doubt I do. Uh, right here, this is probably the worst. I mean, this is, again, size of my fingernail, a chip here and a chip there. Probably rocks coming up and hitting that, but that is the worst. I think you could get a little bit of steel wool and just clean this right here with some steel wool on that door handle. The top is in really good shape and I have the zip in windows that we'll put in here. Uh, frame is super clean as you can see here. I mean that's all been painted. There's no rust. Everything here is good. Rear tires, same. It's a really nice swing arm. To get to the fuel door you got a little locking gas cap right there. Uh, you got to swing this, this spare tire over to get to that so the aftermarket bumper in the back here this is just the factory i guess spray well you know whatever these came with in the tub the factory spray seats are like perfect no tears no rips no stains same seats are absolutely excellent aftermarket locking center console the toughy box uh, we do have the key that goes with that dash is in great shape a uh, little chip on the windshield i see that i didn't necessarily see it at first but there's a little rock chip right there on the windshield so um everything under here is nice and tidy this is all just factory wiring I'm going to start it. The emergency brake works and I do have it set. So I'm not even sitting in it. I mean, my feet aren't even, you know, I'm outside of the, the Jeep. Start it. I mean, boom. It's just sitting here running. And I will attempt to raise this with one hand. Bear with me. Aftermarket distributor, obviously that didn't come on there. Ooh. It does have AC, I mean there's the AC compressor. Uh, brand new spark plugs. So I put brand new spark plugs in this thing after I got it, so they are brand new. This is your Holly fuel injection. check AC honestly I've never checked the AC in this thing uh, if I even know how to run it let's see oh, look at that dust that just blew out <laughs> that dust just blew out in my face so I turned it onto the cold setting the fan is blowing like crazy you can probably hear it We blew all that dust into my face. Um, I don't see this engaging. So 
there is a very good chance this is an r12 system probably needs to be converted to a 134 uh, so i'd say the ac is not blowing cold but it is an ac equipped vehicle so The fuel is full because I topped it off the other day. This is all working. There's your oil pressure. And your volt meter is working. Obviously we just turned it on so the temperature gauge uh, is not coming to temperature yet. But everything works. I'll check the headlights. Just pulled side markers on headlights headlights that lights on that lights on you can see it from the side so all right i'm going to cut it short